Hey Mickey, let's casually sh let's casually search for some mammoth fossils. The year, yeah, it was still 2020. As our two heroes were casually digging for fossilized mammoths that roamed Europe so long ago, the young boy stumbled upon something they would have never imagined. <laughs> I think I found a mammoth. Who would have guessed? The boys ended up finding a mammoth after all. How you ask? Well, over the years, we have collected many knives. But among them, some stick out. They are knives that perform beyond belief. Knives that remind you of a certain special moment in your life. Your first hunt, your first gift, or maybe just a special holiday. And some knives just stick out because they have surpassed the use of just being a tool. They have become art in itself. The La Cantina Little Jones. Handmade in Italy, carefully crafted out of B-cut steel, mosaic pins, a stabilized elder barrel, carbon fiber finger guard, and yes, with a stabilized mammoth tusk layered between it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this knife has bloody mammoth tusk in it. And not to forget, a beautiful handmade leather sheath. This is not only a tool, it is craftsmanship. It is a usable piece of exotic art and a piece of ancient history of what once was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mammoth speaking, and I have very important news for you. You only have 24 hours left to participate with this giveaway. We're giving away Falcon even A1X and F1X. Thank you, Blade HQ. Oh, Frazier. CPM 3V and Libby Capins and Mark River got a CPM 3V. There are two winners. Link in the description. <sighs> <laughs> Good oh. morning, ladies and gentlemen. We had to film this straight up out of bed. We're awake for around five minutes because there's gonna be rain all day, and then we don't have time anymore for this. This is the La Cantina, guys. It is. Whoa. You know, when you have a lot of knives, or when you have those knives that fill up those primary uses heart beating knives, the toners, the camping knives, you know, then maybe it is time, especially for us, like, it's time for some collector's pieces. Pieces of art, knives that have surpassed just being a tool. And this knife, in our opinion, doesn't even have to perform great. It only has to perform the normal task because it is beautiful enough yeah. and it has bloody mammoth this in the knife. This is handmade carbon mammoth. fiber and bloody mammoth. Martin bought a turkey for 50 euros. <laughs> yeah, that's what a turkey costs in the lens. It's and I hate it because turkeys are always dry. I have never eaten a juicy turkey here in Holland. People don't know how to make turkey. It's my mission now that I am going to provide you with a not so dry turkey. Oh, and I don't know how to do it. This also my 50 euros, yeah? This because I also have almost never tried a not <laughs> dry turkey. Shortness. Martin? That is crazy sharp, look at this. I found lost on the ground. I found something laying around. Jeep sounds head in the clouds. It's so bright when the lights go out. Sleep tight, exercise. No one who can break my mind. Five and a half. Uh, it is just because of the geometry, it is so thin and so sharp that it just wants to cut into the wood. It's very hard to make a feather stick with. Mm. But, I mean, it is very sharp, so that's a compliment.
This is the night before. Before filming the episode. Yeah, that's already in the... I already added that. Oh, nice. One day before. So what are we doing? We're brining the turkey. Sounds awful. It's not gonna work. For my favorite segment of every video, cooking. I hate cooking. Every turkey I've ever eaten in my life is dry, and I'm sure that 90% of your viewers have the same experience. And Marta keeps telling me, "Oh, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be dry. I want chicken. <laughs> chicken isn't Christmas, Mickey. Christmas chicken." Haat uien snijden. Wie vindt dit leuk dan? Niemand, hoe kan je dit nou wel leuk vinden om te doen? Auw! <laughs> ah, ik haat koken, ik haat koken, ik haat koken. This cooking is so much fun. I'm gonna become a chef cook and I'm gonna have a lot of fun in my life. And people yelling at me in the kitchen. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work it a little. This, my, this, a little this is my whole childhood. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you did some very nice food prepping over here. I'm gonna take this, stuff this in this. Oh, he's oh. a <laughs> piece of butter. Onions. Oh boy, I'm feeling stuffed. I want to say sorry for that kind of joke. This is uh, not, this is very immature, Martin. So Mickey says it's always gonna get dry. It is, it does. So I thought, Perfect. why not cover up those parts that get dry fast with bacon? It's not gonna help. It is not gonna help. We forgot something very important. Garlic. Goddamn, you were chef. And we forgot something else. Nee, wat? The orange, a lemon. God, waar? Did it also have to go in the turkey? I think so. Nee! <laughs> well, Wait, uh, let's do the lemon first, because then the sourness of the lemon makes... But um, we're gonna squeeze meat. this. We're gonna squeeze the lemon. Okay. You're the cook. Mama Burton. No way. No. We broke the mammoth. Oh my god. Martin, what what the fuck? No man, I feel bad. This was this is uh. Guys, we broke a piece of art. No, I'm serious. This <laughs> This is this, so <laughs> nar. Oh no. This guy worked so hard to make this piece of art for us with a mammoth. Uh, and now the handle broke. Uh, Martin, I think I've never felt so bad about um, breaking a knife. No, guys, please, you still have to check this man out. I mean, he makes beautiful knives. Well, I'm pretty sure the, no, this guy would, uh, would put a new handle on for us. So we contacted La Cantina and their response was amazing. Of course, they're gonna make the handle for us and they're gonna send us a new knife to review. 
And then we are gonna do the destruction test because they claim that this shouldn't happen and that this is an error of the wood. Look at this video. The man is chopping real hard, way harder than we did. So sadly, this is just a wood error. <laughs> Mammoth. <laughs> Uh, we made way too less calls. So let's do a DVK style. Stay, you have to get right on my back. Uh, we're gonna do it 40 minutes, 220 degrees. And then we're gonna get the temp down to, I think, 140 or something. Another 20 minutes for every kilogram of the turkey. And I don't know what it weighs, so I'm just gonna guess. One hour. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> we forgot to put the audio back on. So we have no audio with tasting the bloody turkey. But luckily, I'm a real good actor and I can reenact it all for you. This is me tasting the turkey and I'm saying like, what? <laughs> this, this is actually really juicy. Martin, this is amazing. This is really juicy. What the fuck? Huh. Whoa. Martin was tasting it like, Mixie, I'm fat. I mean, I'm ugly. I mean, this really is juicy. I've, no, literally, I've never eaten a turkey like this in my whole life. This is amazing. And it really was amazing. It really was juicy. I'm not joking about. This turkey was actually amazingly juicy. I have never in my whole life eaten a turkey as good as this. Look at my reaction. Oh, it's so good. I'm so sorry. We... We are the most unprofessional channel ever, and uh, you guys keep giving your money. But next time, we'll hire a guy that keeps our microphone alive. Cheers. Oh, we. Oh, that giveaway is so great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a big giveaway. This is literally the last day you can participate oh, in this giveaway. The last day. What, what nice? Falcon even A1X. Oh, that's one. Falcon even F1X, thanks to Blade SQ. Blade SQ! A bloody damn beaver knife, a headmate, DBK pins. That's crazy, from Russia. And? And the Barker Bugatti CPR 3V. Jesus, that is really, that's a really big that, giveaway. That How many winners do we have? Two. Two winners, so you both win two knives each. Thank you very much. Raw Knife Club, link in the description. Yeah. Okay, so something really, 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 really oh, terrible happened. We feel so bad because, oh, this man, he took so much effort into making this knife. Let us just first say, this knife is not bad. This is just a handle or wood problem because if the knife would break somewhere at the steel, then it would be a bad knife. We spoke to the to the man. He told us uh, he had like a new wood provider, yeah, and that it had never happened before. Of course, it broke as uh, where the tang ended. Yeah. So you could say uh, the tang needs to be a little bit longer. We told yeah. him that. But he will make us a new knife, and we're gonna make a secondary video because he wants to prove. And I think he's right that he's shown us a video that uh, he had a knife like this chopped like a tree this big. Before we're gonna give a definite conclusion about, about this, we're gonna make a new video on it next yeah. year. Can I just say that all knives can fill. We've seen yeah. knives like the Falcon even NL5 Kauri X uh, break. The one thing that's most important is... How does the knife maker respond to that? The customer service. Yeah, how is the customer service? And with this man, the customer service is great. I really want to have this knife, even though it now broke. We're gonna have a new handle fixed to it. It's gonna be a good knife. I'm betting on it. Also, by the what? way, the turkey. Yeah, we forgot to turn the yeah. mic on. The turkey was amazing. I have never eaten a turkey juicy in the slightest, and this was amazingly juicy. Yeah, you could yeah. you could see the juices flow out. It was it was crazy. Yeah. It was uh, good. I did find out that chicken is nicer. So for all you Americans. But do still keep watching your videos because hey, you are our one, main audience. One PMPT. <laughs> every and click Thursday. This. Every Thursday. This one. To click the likey. Check out the Instagram. The bell notification if it still works. Yeah. And uh, bye. Thank you. See you next year, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thank New you very year. much for being with us in 2020. Don't celebrate it with your family, please, because they're going to make the whole country ill. <laughs> <laughs> bye.